Hi, this is Frank here with Die Hard RC Addicts, and I finally got my Aeromarine Predator put together. Um, I spent all night putting it together. Um, it's ready to run, so we're going to throw it in the water first and do some test runs. I may need to adjust the lower leg here a little bit to get it to ride right, but it's running on 4S right now, and if it runs good, I'll try throwing a 5S pack in there and see how that works. Um, afterwards, we'll put it on the table and open it up and show you guys what I did. All right, so let's get in the water and see how it runs. On. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel like it's uh, off by too much. Doesn't feel like it's lifting the nose a little. I may need to lower the leg just a little bit. Yep, thing turns on a dime, just like I remember. Another. <laughs> Uh, just so you guys know, this Aero Marine Predator has been out for probably almost three decades when they made the original one. Um, it's something that one of my friends had a long time ago, and I remember that was just back when we were running uh, nitro boats before all the electric got popular. And we were running the Predator, or he was running the Predator, and we were running the old Prather tunnel holes. And I remember he used to be able to just stay in the throttle the whole time and make turns at full speed without having to worry about it. This thing turns. <laughs> I always liked these boats. I'm sure they made a couple of different versions of it. So I think the one my friend had had open cockpit style. This is one of the newer ones. Um, one of the other things that I noticed is uh, I don't see Aero Marine's website up anymore. They used to be really big in RC boats, so I don't even know if they're still around. If any of you guys know for sure, uh, put some comments in the comments below the video. Because I'm not sure. I know that uh, it was Offshore Electric sells some of their catamarans still, but I haven't seen anybody that's selling this boat. So I don't know if they're available anymore or not. It's dialed in about right before us. It's not like super fast right now. Um, I'm running, like I said, 4S setup. And I have my old Blackjack 26 motor in there. It's a 1500 kV motor. And I'm running a Turnigy Marine 120 amp ESC. With uh, Turnigy, I believe, batteries are like 45C batteries, 4000 milliamp. Dang it. Oh, he flipped it. <laughs> it's upside down. Get the fishing pole. Frank doing a recovery with the fishing pole. <laughs> oh, it got wet. Frank drained it. Yeah, the top on this one don't seal as good, right, <laughs> Frank? Yeah, I'm gonna have to open it up and see, make sure everything's okay. Man, we've got quite a bit of water in there. Oh, the motor's still running. All right, guys, we did fish the boat back in, and I wanted to show you inside. Um, the water was getting in from the back here, I'm pretty sure, because the way I designed this, there's not really a good spot for to tape the stick to in here when I tape the hatch covers on. So I'm gonna have to change this. I don't know, I might do like Paul said, and put a piece of wood in here that's flat to cover this and make the hatch cover shorter so I can just tape over it so it'll get a better seal. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was coming in because it was only holding on to this little piece of wood. Um, this box that I, is on here I had to fabricate because when I bought it it was just the hole by itself. Normally you would build a radio box which is completely sealed. Uh, I didn't enclose this radio box, it's just a cover to go into the compartment. Um, I may go ahead and finish it up as a regular radio box and then re-enclose everything. I was worried I wouldn't have enough room for the batteries to fit in there, especially if I run a 5S, because it's really tight right now. 
Um, if I put the extra thickness of the wood underneath, I don't know if it's going to raise it up enough to bother it. But anyway, uh, um, I'll probably spend a good, I don't know, couple days working on it, building it. Um, it does have a rubber gasket seal underneath this where the bolts are. So I don't think it was leaking from there. I may add a third or another bolt back here just to be sure. But I think if I redo that area back there, it should seal up better. Um, I'm happy with the way it's running. And I think it flipped over because I was trying to turn too sharp at too slow a speed. And it was dropped off a plane and the front sponson dipped in and caused it to flip over. But other than that, I think everything's uh, pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on it a little bit more and maybe try and get some 5S or 5S battery put in it and test run it here pretty soon. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching Die Hard RC Addicts.